So it's y double three minus two x y prime plus two over one. Okay, so check whether it's whether self return you put it in the standard form, which is uh what this uh, this textbook is uh, piece piece of zero y double query so that's the standard form. If it's self adjoined, then P0 will be equals to P1. Right? That's, that's, not, that's the condition for the self adjoined. Now for the Hermit, P0 is, P0 is 1, P1 is minus 2x. Right? So P0 will be 0, which is not equal to. P1, P1, right? So that's not self join, right? And to make it self join, you are basically defining your new variable using the formula here. So first find the W. So your W will be using equation 8.15. That's the natural function. P1 over P0. Okay, that would be your W. Okay, so let's try it. But this one piece, piece of series one, so that's one, this one, this is E, and this is integral P1 is uh, minus 2x, then the dx, and P0 is. This actually is one, so that is oh, no, too many. So, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so now that is you want to integrate that, that the x square over two and translate two, and so that uh, will be the minus two. Uh, x square plus minus two. Plus two. Okay, so that. Uh, is the what is the text? I mean, the, the question asks you to, to show that. Okay, I'm going to skip forward. So that would be a W, right? Is it? Is it T? At least the process, you know how, how to find a W just by the formula. And the idea, what, what, what it means is uh, once you get a W, you can use the other formula. If you want, you don't have to do the transformation of the differential operator, but if you want, you can define your new, uh, new coefficient, uh, BC or BC or bar. So that's uh, basically the equation 817 and 18. And we define PC of bar as exponential P1 with PC X with exactly this one over PC and then exactly the same thing. For our case, this is this is just W. Right. This is just yeah. this is exactly the same. Yeah. So this is just E. And this is P1. And this is P1 will be P1 bar is P2 bar. Minus 2x times minus x bar. Right. Then the idea is that uh again, Multiply W with respect to Q, uh, that's the full equation. Because W times Y double Y plus Y 
SQXWY pi and then plus PIWY. Wait. Well, yeah, it was a zero because yeah, W is always uh, non zero. They actually, because yeah, minus x squared is actually more always positive. I mean, unless x goes to infinity, that is zero. But uh, it, not, it doesn't go to zero, so you can divide by W. So uh, you multiply by W, so it's still a potential equation. Now, this is, uh, this becomes W. It's this is W this is the zero power. And then this one is just this one. And then obviously you check where this cell is joined by this one. So PC of pi, where this equals to P1, right? And and you can see your bar pi now is just beauty of this one, so it gives you minus two x u minus x squared. That equals to p one. So now it satisfies the self adjoint condition, right? So if you like, you can just you can do the final step. The final step is not. Uh, is not required. You can still use that because they are just the same dependent equation. Just uh, they are they are basically different. If they are just a factor of w, if they compare this one with this this one, the coefficient change and then the all this coefficient change, but uh, you're using this still basically the same y, right? Okay, and obviously then the what is different also is the, you define the scalar part with this the same W in the, in the gram of the scalar part, right? So you can just, once you get W, you can just say, just know that you define your scalar part differently. You don't have to use this new equation to solve your potential equation because that might be, I mean, actually not necessary. You can use, go back to the original equation and solve for this reason, and that would be perfectly fine as long as you remember that use of the non zero W or non, non, non identity W into your if the definition of the scale part, and that would be fine. Is that clear? So, I, you, you know what? We'll try to do this. Okay.